Every day, there are 3.9 million starving vampires. These poor, evil creatures have to go their whole life without a single drop of blood. They live off alley cats and stray dogs. Please, if you can only donate a little bit of blood, you'll save these poor, defenseless, bloodthirsty demon spawns. But the blood drive will be on January 30th, and you have all of this week and next to sign up during your lunch period. No lunch? No problem. Contact Carter Kranditz and Delaney Kelch to sign up. In local news, yo dog, if you let your own dog run loose, well buddy, you better be ready to find, be fined or sued. Well, why do I say this? Well, since July, there's been six cases of people bitten by dogs reported by, to the police. Some people just let their dogs go running around, which can lead to disasters. Logan Ordinance 90.01B3 says, keep the dog physically confined and restricted upon the premise of the owner, keeper or harborer by leash, tether, aqueduct fence, supervision, or secure enclosed to prevent escape. Keep the dog under the reasonable control of the person. If you see a dog loose, there's a few things you can do. Call the dog warden. Unless the dog is defending itself or fighting off an intruder, just call the cops then. And if anyone has a dog that has any other condiments besides ketchup, mustard, chili, or relish on them, you better call a SWAT team. That's disgusting. Anyway, here's weather time with the man, the myth, the somewhat legend, Klein Lehman. Everyone wants to be a hero, but not everyone gets the opportunity to be one. This is your opportunity to save lives. By donating blood, you can save many lives. And on Wednesday, January 30th, there's a blood drive here at LHS. Sign-ups are all next week, so you have plenty of time to sign up. You can sign up at your lunch, or if you don't have lunch, contact Connor Carter Kranitz to get signed up. Take this as your opportunity to make an impact. In Logan, there has been at least six dog bites or attacks reported to the Logan Police Department since July. Logan City Ordinance 90.01 says to keep the dog phys physically confined or restrained upon the premises of the owner by a leash, adequate fence, or secure enclosure to prevent escape. Some may ask what to do in a situation where you witness a dog attack or a dog running loose. Well, you should notify the local dog warden immediately. We just want to know, who let the dogs out? Maya Burgraff, TV2 News. Up next, an animation about keeping your dog safe. Attention all students who have doors with locks, this announcement is for you. The next Key Club meeting is tomorrow at 7.20 a.m. The meeting is being held in room 202. For any additional information, you can contact Ms. Myers. In local news, according to the Logan Police Department, the City of Logan has recorded six dog attacks or bites since July. Luckily, we have a city ordinance to keep us safe. The following is included in the ordinance. A, keeping your dog confined or restrained upon the premises of the owner. B, keeping the dog under reasonable control of some person. If you see a dog loose attacking another animal that is not on the owner's property, biting someone who owns said property, or biting someone trespassing, please notify the local dog warden. Here's a small side note. This news story gives me the paw opportunity to give a rough pun. Kelly Mann, TV2 News. Now here's a look at Hardcore Parkour, the Tundra edition, with Jasper Jones and Bryce Berry. Are you interested in saving lives? Are you okay with tiny needles being in your skin? Can you stand the sight of blood? Well, if all the things I just said apply to you, then you should consider signing up for the blood drive on January 30th. You can sign up at lunch or contact Carter Kranitz or Delaney Kelch if you have any questions. See Mrs. Myers in room 202. In local news, at least six dog bites or attacks have been reported to the Logan Police Department since July. Even with the city ordinances in place, some people still think it's a good idea to allow their pets to run freely, which can end badly. According to the ordinance, those who witness a dog running loose should notify the local dog warden immediately if the dog is loose or unconfined or if it bites someone. There's an exception to, th there's an exception to this. If the dog is on the property of its owner, and if the person who bites is trespassing illegally or committing a criminal act on the property, or if the dog attacks another animal while off of its owner's property. Now here's Bryce Berry with more Hardcore Parkour. The next Key Club meeting is today, Monday, January 14th. You can see Mrs. Myers in room 202 at 7.20 a.m. You can also see her during fifth period or after school. In other news, the Logan Police Department has had at least six dog bites or attacks reported to them since July. There are some ordinances put in place by the city, but some people still allow their pets to run without being on a leash. 
If you see a dog running loose, you should get in contact with a local dog warden unless it is secure on the owner's property. Failure to do so could lead to harm caused to other animals or people. Now here's Logan Lilly with the Chieftain News Story. Anyone who is interested in saving lives, the next blood drive is on Wednesday, January 30th. Students have the rest of this week and next week to get signed up. If you are interested, sign up during your lunch period. If you don't, do not have a lunch, contact either Carter Cranus or Delaney Couch to get signed up. Since July, there has been at least six dog bites or attacks reported to the Logan De Police Department. Logan City Ordi Ordinance 90.01b3 states, keep the dog under reasonable control of some person. Those who witness a dog running loose should, according to the ordinance, notify the local dog warden immediately. If any of the following occurs, the dog is loose or unconfined, the dog bites a person, unless the dog is on the property of the owner of the dog and bites the per person who is bitten unlawfully, trespassing or committing a criminal act within the boundaries of that property, the dog attacks another animal while the dog is off the property of the owner of the dog. Now time for Weather with Christian Swart. Are you interested in saving up to three people's lives and not afraid of needles? If so, Logan High School will be hosting a blood drive on Wednesday, January 30th. You'll have this week and next to sign up during lunch. If you don't have a lunch, you can contact Carter Kranitz or Delaney Kelch to reserve your spot. In local news, since July, there has been at least six dog bites or attacks reported to the Logan Police Department. Though a city ordinance is in effect, some owners still allow their pets to run freely. To prevent further attacks, anyone who sees a dog running loose, witnesses a dog bite, or attack on another animal off of the property of its owner should notify the local dog warden immediately. Now here are Stocking, Making Queens, Caitlin Horch, and Gracie Swope. You've got the door club and the lock club and, oh, what's the other one I'm forgetting? Oh, right, key club. The key club advisor is Miss Marsha Myers. They meet the second and fourth Monday of every month, either before school, after school, or during fifth period in room 202. And everyone loves their dogs, right? But since July, there have been six dog attacks reported to the Logan police. Logan City Ordinance states to A, keep the dog under a leash and under supervision, and B, keep the dog under control of some person, and notify the police immediately if any of the following occur. If a dog is loose or bites a person unless the dog is on the property of the owner and the person is unlawfully trespassing or committing a crime, and also if the dog attacks another dog. And now, here's a Chieftain PSA. If you are interested in joining Key Club, there's a meeting today, fifth period and right after school at room 202. In other news, July has been a beginning of a serious issue erupting in the city of Logan. The Logan Police Department has received multiple reports of dog attacks and bites of the occurrence of loose and free pets that should not be loose. Ordinances are set by the Logan Police Department to avoid situations such as this, such as physical confinements on the owner's property of the pet, or to be under a tether and controllable supervision. If any loose dogs are noticed around downtown Logan, Logan PD asks you to please contact the local game warden, dog warden immediately. Now here's Jasper Jones with Scripps My Screws. As the end of the year is quickly approaching, so are a lot of deadlines for this year's seniors. Scholarship, college applications, and most importantly, yearbook pictures. Yearbook pictures need to be submitted to Ms. Myers soon. There is a full list of what this picture should look like in the daily announcement email. In local news, there have been multiple reports of dog attacks since this past July. In order to minimize these events occurring, there have been city ordinances put in place these are meant to keep dogs from running freely and kept on a leash, in a fence, or confined some other way. Those who witness a dog running loose and see the dog attack a person are no asked to notify the dog warden immediately. Well, that's all I have. Here's Klein Lehman with the weather. 